Okay, we're doing a uh, very, well, we'll call it a low power uh, GMRS repeater, half duplex uh, repeater, not a simplex repeater. So basically it's two UV5Rs with a uh, battery eliminator that lets you, you know, takes the shape of the battery, um, lets you put in 12 volts, excuse me, and uh, turns it into 7.4 volts for the, for the radio. Then I've got a power supply that turns, uh, you know, 110, 120 volts AC into 12 volts DC and a uh, cigarette lighter plug and a splitter. So it's two radios, a uh, interface box that plugs into the standard audio connector, the, the Ken, Kenwood quote unquote audio connector, uh, <clears throat> and then a power supply to run the radios off of either, uh, you know, 110, 120 volt AC or, you know, 12 volt uh, DC, so 12 to 15 volt DC. Or, you know, you could run it off the, uh, the batteries, obviously. So one radio uh, listens on the input, which with GMRS is plus 5 megahertz, so... Radio check, one, two, three, four, five. Radio check. And uh, I say low power because it's, they're, you know, the radios are set at full power, but these are UV5Rs. So it's probably going to be about three and a half uh, to five watts. We've got a, uh, an auxiliary receiver. Sorry, i got to put the right antenna on it. UHF. Add the uh, 25 to 50 antenna on there. So we'll go to tune 462.7. So, like I was saying, one radio listens on the input and the other one transmits on the output. And that's it. Uh, basically, when one radio, the receiver, the squelch is opened on the receiver, uh, which means you have to set the receive squelch, tone squelch setting, whatever you want your input uh, setting to be, and that receiver needs to be on the uh, repeater's input frequency. And then the transmitter side needs to be set to transmit the um, correct uh, tone and then obviously needs to be on the, the right frequency. So let me see if I can do this. Holding three radios and my phone. And naturally it's desensing it. We'll turn the uh, attenuator on and see if that helps. Hello, uh, radio. Hello. Radio check one, two, three, four, five. Radio check. This is a repeater check. This is a repeater test transmission. One, two, three, four, five. And you can see the uh, 100 hertz tone there. One. One, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one. Now that is uh, the transmitter radio is set to do an end of uh, transmission, you know. PTATID, end of transmission. So you'll see here that it's set for an offset like you would regularly do for a repeater.
So there's your shift, positive, and five megahertz, so. And then transmitting, it needs to transmit the right tone. So we can, uh, well actually we'll turn the receive squelch off. But uh, just to show you that, let's just do, you know, 67. It's not gonna key it up because that's not the correct tone. A regular repeater. Radio check. Radio check one, two, three, four, five. Radio check, radio check. WRBQ nine three two. So that end of transmission tone kind of functions as a uh, courtesy beep, if you will. I can disable that. Um, <clears throat> obviously the, uh, well not obviously, but the way that the repeater interface box is set up is that it will not uh, key the receiver or the transmitter uh, without audio being present. So in addition to it being uh, carrier squelch operated or tone squelch operated or uh, digital coded squelch operated depending on how you set it up uh, there needs to be audio which means that the volume on the receiver needs to be turned up to an appropriate level excuse me uh, but yeah that's we'll call that part one of the proof of concept I'm only about uh, half a block away from the site and uh, I don't expect the range on this to be too crazy at all but it does work and just to kind of show you um, it's you know transmitting that 100 Hertz tone you could do a split tone here if you wanted to That's the other receiver. Turn that off. See how it's got the signal there, but it's not open in the squelch because the receive tone is incorrect. So we can turn it off, of course. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. So we've got. I'll, uh, I'll cut this now and uh, we can continue this in a second. But yeah, that's part one. Thank you for watching.